Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on lower bound and upper bound, the third in my series on this topic. Uh, it's from a past IGCSE higher tier exam question. And it says, uh, correct to two decimal places, the volume of a solid cube is 42.88 centimeters cube there. And it says, calculate the lower bound for the surface area of the cube. Okay. So, and the second one, it says, uh, comment on the likely difference between the lower bound up and upper bound surface areas. Now, if we said uh, the volume is V, and uh, because this is approximated to 2 dps, which means that uh, the actual figure before the approximation must have been to three decimal places there. And if you divide uh, 0 0.01, which is two decimal places by two, we get 0 0.05. So to get upper, so, so, so get a lower um, figure, we subtract 0 0.005 from 42.88, set it to cubed, and, and then add, for the upper bound, we add 0 0.005 to that. So that's what we got there. So that's, that gives us the spread there. Now note here that the volume can be 42.875, yes, but it cannot be 42.885. It's just short of 42.885. Hence, this sign is important there. It's got to be less than that. So you cannot put equal sign there. Right, now because we're dealing with a cube, all the dimensions are the same so if we say each dimension is l centimeters so we've got l by l by l which then means that l cubed is equal to the volume if we then if we then take the cube root of both sides we end up with l is equal to the square the cube root of v so for the lower bound the dimensions is going to be um the cube root of 42.875 from there. Okay, so L gives us a value of 3.50 centimeters. So the area for each surface will be 3.5 times 3.5 centimeters squared. And because for a cube we got six surfaces there, okay, so we then multiply the area of one surface by six. And we end up with 73.50 centimeters squared. Now, there's going to be very little difference in the surface area of the upper bound and lower bound because, for one thing, we're working to three decimal places there for the volume. And then, even smaller, when we take the cube root of these volumes there, mind you, there's only 0 0.001 difference between the upper uh, volume and the lower bound volume there. So the surface area is going to be very, it's going to be very little difference in surface area of the lower bound and upper bound. I hope that made some sense and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.